right, so next thing we wanna do is um, we're gonna start looking at some control presets, okay? Control presets are gonna be, um, it's this last encoder that we wrote, uh, encoder set that we really haven't used. And what that usually is gonna contain is um, reset functions on the light, um, different um, mode changes we could maybe do for the light. Um, and also most importantly, most of the time will contain your lamp on and lamp off functions um, for any arc lamp fixtures you have in your, in your rig. Uh, because those need to be struck and doused because those lamps burn continuously. Um, they're arc lamps, so we don't, they don't just turn on and off as you adjust the dimmer. They're always on, they're using a mechanical shutter to control the output of light. Um, so we wanna be able to do that remotely from the console and we do that usually through the control function, the control attributes. Um, for our purposes and our rig at the school, we only have, well, we had two lights, had two lights that were our clamps, our Viper washes and our, our 250 Kryptons. Um, I, like I mentioned, the 250 Kryptons we've replaced and they're now an LED fixture, um, but we're still kind of dealing with Kryptons with the programming tutorial, so we're still gonna do it, okay? Um, so Viper washes and Kryptons are our two arc lamp types of fixtures. The rest of these are LEDs. They don't need to have a lamp on or lamp off um, control feature. Um, and what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna create a lamp on, a lamp off, and then a reset um, control preset for these lights. With reset, we'll be doing it for all the fixtures because all the fixtures have a reset function, not just the arc lamp ones. Um, but we'll start with our lamp on preset. So we'll make sure our programmer is cleared out. So it'll clear three times. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and mask the fixture sheet to the Viper washes. It's gonna be our first arc lamp fixture we're gonna deal with. We're gonna select the Viper wash group down here. Um, and then we will go to the control tab for our encoders. Now within the control tab, um, you're gonna see different things based on different lights you have selected. For us, for the Viper washes, it comes up with the lamp section and a lamp control box. Um, so we're gonna click on that lamp control, find lamp on right here on the right side, third row. Come on, all right, and select that. Lamp on. Make sure you're in your preset one view so you can see your control presets here. Okay, so another thing with these control presets. Um, most of the time these functions are, are contained within the control attribute set here. However, we have a lot of Martin fixtures and older Martin fixtures. Um, they liked to put their lamp controls and reset controls in the beam tab, in the shutter function. Now we've talked about these preset pools and how they are by default um, filtered. So um, by default, a position preset can only contain position information. If I have color information that I try to store in there, it won't do it. It'll only take position information. Same with color, dimmer, control, and beam, um, and any other preset we could do. Now, they're filtered to only that specific type of attribute. Well, if I'm making it a control preset and I have lights that have control functions in the beam um, section of attributes, I can't store those into the control presets um, together with control functions unless I turn off that preset filter, okay? So the way we do that is it's gonna be in that store menu, same place where we were selecting which type of store we're gonna use. So I've got lamp on for control preset here, 
yes, I am in a control attribute right now, but we're just going to show you how to do this because the Kryptons will not, they will be in Beam. So hold the store button until our menu pops up. And the preset filter is this right here under presets. And what you will see by default, it is toggled on. That is what prevents you from storing other types of attributes into a preset pool that it's not designed for. Um, turn it off, just click on it. I need to move my window back down so I can actually see my pools here. And select control preset pool number one. Uh, we're going to go ahead and name this control preset lamp on. Uh, and then we'll clear three times. Uh, so now we're going to keep building this with the Krypton. So I've, I created it, but I can always merge other stuff into these presets anytime I want to later. So now we'll select our Kryptons and we're going to merge that in. Again, I said, this is an older Martin fixture. So the lamp controls for this are actually under beam and shutter. If I click on the shutter tab, I will find lamp on down here at the bottom. Well, next, next to the last one to the right. Select that. Again, I'm in a beam attribute that I'm trying to store into a control preset. So I'm gonna hold the store button and turn off the preset filter. And then I'm gonna click on cell number one. It'll ask me what I wanna do. I wanna merge this information in with the existing information, so I'm gonna merge. And now I've added that information in here. Now, when I did that, come on, Zoom. It's being very annoying today. All right, so I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so you can see it, or a lot bigger. That didn't really work. Eh, whatever, I'll fix it in a minute. So for this control preset now, we see that it has this additional uh, bar here in the bottom with little cells that none of the other ones have. That's because we have disabled um, the preset filter and store different um, attribute groups into this into this preset. And the way those line up is we see that we have two that have these little white marks. If we start over here in order, it follows the same order as these uh, encoder tabs here. So first cell would be dimmer, second one would be position, third gobo, fourth color. Then I see the fifth one is lit up white. That's my beam tab. I have beam information in here. Skip uh, the next one to focus, which is grayed out. We didn't do focus stuff. And the next one would be control. And it's lit up white because we have control information in here. The next two are, I can actually add in my own um, attribute groupings down here um, and add two more over here if I wanted to. We, we're not going to deal with building our own fixture types and um, stuff like that, but you could add extra ones in. That's what those other two boxes are. They don't contain anything right now. So that's what that bar means and why it is appearing here and not in any of the other ones because we have multiple different attribute types in this, okay? Let me resize my window back down here real quick. Yeah, real big. All right. So there, that, that lamp on one, we're done. That's our two lights that we have in the, that are our clamps. Krypton is microwashes for lamp on. So we'll clear three times and move on to our lamp off preset. This is gonna be exactly the same, just lamp off instead. Uh, all, the, all the values are still in the same places. So Viper washes, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do this in one step instead of two steps this time. So Viper washes, Go to control uh, and find lamp control. 
lamp off, which is right here. First one on row number four. Um, I've made a change to those Viper washes. So I don't have to clear the, the selection. I can just make a new selection now, which will release the Viper washes to Kryptons. I'm going to mask my field to the Kryptons here. And go to the beam tab, shutter. And lamp off is actually down at the very, very bottom. So I have to scroll. Okay, come on, open the window. All right. So I have to scroll down all the way to the bottom. And lamp off is the last thing I see here. Just like that. And if I'm looking in the fixture sheet, I have shutter here, which has the lamp off value in it. If I go to mask to my Viper washes, I don't see any value here. Don't be afraid, we just have to scroll over, control stuff at the very end, and under lamp control, I see lamp off is active. So we're good there. So there are two different spots. All right, I have to turn off the preset filter to store this through control presets so and hold store. Turn off the preset filter and select control preset cell number two. We will name that lamp off. And clear three times. All right, um, the third thing we want to do with control is a reset preset. So this would be like a remote, um, you can do multiple different types of resets. Most commonly you would do a global, pre, uh, global reset, which would just recalibrate the entire light, kind of like when you turn it on that first time where it pans around and tilts all the way to its maximums and it, it configures all the wheels inside. It's gonna do that. You could also, you know, a lot of lights have functions to just reset the gobo mechanisms or just the color mechanisms or just the position mechanisms. Um, and those would be contained in those control presets as well. Uh, but for us, we're going to do a global reset. And again, this is going to apply to everyone. Now, I can't just click on my all automated group and select a reset because these different fixtures are going to have that in different places, control or beam. Um, and not all of them are going to be the same place within control. Um, just because different manufacturers make things different ways. So we're gonna do these individually. So I'll go to Viper Wash first. This was under the control and lamp control section. Click that and I find the reset. Click that. Uh, for my Aura XBs, I'm just gonna click on the Aura XB main group. Um, because the Aura FX section doesn't have any reset controls. Right here under control, I see reset. So this one looks different, it's not under a lamp control. Click on fixture global and select reset. Again, because this fixture doesn't have any lamp control, it's LED. So that's again why, why you have to do these separately because they're all in different places. Uh, quantum wash main group. Click on fixture global and reset. And I've got my programmer only mask on just so I can see what's going on over here in the fixture sheet easier. All right, quantum profiles group. Um, this one's here under reset as well. Fixture global reset. And you see in here where it says position reset, color neck reset, go, go by wheel one reset. Uh, I have a bunch of other things I can control here. All right, um, Atomics, um, I think we're just gonna select the Atomic Strobe group, yes, because that was where the control is for this reset. Fixture Global, reset. And finally, Kryptons are the odd man out. We're going to beam and shutter for this. And then we'll find um, reset here in the bottom left. There we go, bottom left, reset. I'm 
was waiting for it to catch up again. Okay. So I've got all my values over here in the fixture sheet. All right. So we'll want to go ahead and store this now. So again, we have multiple different attribute sets in this. So we need to turn off the preset filter. So hold store. Hold store, wait for zoom. Disable the preset filter and select control cell number three. And we'll name this reset. So now we have remote um, control of those functions within the light with, with these presets that are stored, okay?